Good morning, friends, and welcome to Vlogmas Day 26. Yes, it is the day after Christmas, and I feel, I'm gonna say, 89%. I got up this morning, and even finally, it has taken an entire month, but I got a workout in, and it has made me feel completely differently. It did get my cough going a little bit, but um, it calmed down quite quickly, and I feel really good, but to like get some sort of sweat and activity was incredible. But it's like mid-morning, 11 o'clock-ish, I've had like an easy start to my day. Steven is at work, the dogs are here, we just came in from outside, and I got a package. So a subscriber who has become a friend, Jenna, who was on Big Shot with Bethany Frankel on HBO Max. I know, that is a major flex on her part. She runs a quarterly wellness box. She has had a beautiful and inspiring health journey, but it's called Getting Closer Every Day, gettingclosereveryday.com, and she asked if I would want to be a part of it. And A, I love supporting small businesses and friends, and I could not be happier. So, this is my first box. It does come a little bit nicer taped. I cut it off because it had my address on it. But we're gonna open it for the first time together. So this is the Getting Closer Every Day quarterly box. Let's see what we got. So, coffee for everybody. All right. So savings up to 50% on products and services. Take advantage of incredible discounts on hundreds of products and services and travel to help you find balance, beauty, and wellness. Shop our fantastic wellness partners at Getting Closer Every Day. Amazing. All right. Oh my goodness. Her, I will say, like, the marketing is really pretty. So this is the box. I am super impressed and really proud of Jenna. And I will link all of the products below, but I am already like very excited. First of all, there's so many goodies in here. Place coffee here, it's a little, co or here, that's funny, it's a, co it's a coaster. All right, let's see what we got. I need to set this down. First of all, oh my gosh, this is, I have supported this business before. Oh my goodness. So it's Illuminate Life, they are crystal, infused candles the product is amazing their oils are amazing you can see the crystals in here oh that's this is called gather it smells so good but their candles are incredible i'll show you some others and their packaging is phenomenal as well laundry sauce detergent pods this is cool i actually think i was looking at this company and I didn't pull the trigger, but this is a sample pack of their laundry pods. So Australian sandalwood and Siberian pine. I really wanna smell them now. First of all, look at the packaging of these laundry pods. This is like their sample set. I have been looking for a new laundry since I've stopped using the laundress. They had a little bit of an issue. Um, with uh, some sort, I think it was like a bacteria or something in their manufacturing plant. I am so excited to try these. Are they the same on both? They're the same on both. So it's the Australian sandalwood and the Siberian pine. I will wash something in the Siberian pine. I have to do laundry because I have to pack for a trip this week. We do have Vlogmas travel after all. I'll tell you more soon. Um, the next thing we got is Skin at Work called the Timekeeper. They also came with like some really nice 
like instruction manual. Tap warm dot melt. Here's how to get the most out of your skin at work. This is a firming, lifting, correcting, reviving. I'm thinking if you have to warm it, it's gonna have like a pomade finish. Yeah, it's a little bit waxier and heavier than like a normal cream. That's why you would definitely need to warm it. I can add this into my skincare regimen. So we got some laundry, which this is right at my lifestyle alley. Some laundry detergent, which I cannot wait to tell you about because I have been looking at this company. A company I already love, Illuminate Life. I'll leave these all linked for you. And we're going to try some new skincare, Skin at Work. What else do we have in here? We have intermittent fasting bars to try. Prolon. And then, oh, this looks interesting. This is by a company called Pure Inventory. So these are water infusion drops. No sugars, no calories, and this is a cranberry and elderberry. Drop, sip, and thrive. Power up your water with these delicious drops and feel great while hydrating. Simply drop into your water, sip away for optimal wellness. I love cranberry. And then they also sent a sample of the green tea peach drop. This is also great because we got a soda stream so I could actually like put this in as like a flavoring of seltzer because like we're not using it to create sodas, we're using it for seltzers. We got some fresh roasted coffee, the artist emblem from fresh roasted coffee. Love. Oh, I'm looking for a new protein shake. So Prolon has some samples of their vanilla and their chocolate. Really interested in learning more about this brand. I've heard about it before. So I'm excited to try their products. This is a toxin-free deodorant to try. I'm always trying to find a good one. Also a great travel size for this week. This is vanilla and cardamom. That smells incredible. So a nice little travel deodorant. So a little variety. I also, a couple things that I really, really love about this is I love the variety of it. So like there's some home products like cleaning and candles, some skincare, but also like some fitness and wellness things. I love like a good mix of things like this. I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoy. Once again, Please, if you are at all interested, support Jenna. I'll be unboxing mine when they come. Gettingcloserevery.com. Jenna, thank you so much for asking me to be a part of that. I wish you all the success. On our agenda today has been vegging out. I'm also going to wait till after New Year's because I have the whole week after New Year's off to take down the Christmas decorations. I'm in just no rush, and I've just like very much enjoyed them. And like a lot of my rooms this year, I don't have a ton. I don't have a tree in here. Just have to put a couple things away. And although it looks like a lot in previous years, this is nothing. I used to have like full garlands down my island. So this will be much more, much more achievable. I have no clue where Miss Mabel is. Let's go see if we can find her. I haven't made the bed yet this morning. Good morning, sunshiners. Good morning. <gasps> Who's a beautiful lady? Who's this beautiful lady? Hey. Oh, brother's downstairs. Oh, brothers downstairs. Is a squirrel in bed with you? <gasps> There's a dead squirrel in bed with you. <gasps> She's such a sweetie. And she is, uh, she has really grown up. We were talking about it yesterday. Like, she's really, she's one and a half now. In February, she'll be two. She's just 
grown up so much. I was looking at last year's Vlogmas, and she was still so tiny. Ooh, it's such a tiny girl. It was such a tiny girl. Yes, you were. No big girl. Yes, you is. Ooh, it's perfect. Well, I will let you sleep up here, and then I'll make the bed later. I'll go check on your brother. Also, we invested in the dog air tags. Really great. Really great. Both of them have it on their, both of them have it on their collar. Also, burnt myself yesterday. You can see it on my hand. It blistered up already, too. I've had quite the December. Alright, I'm gonna let you sleep and then I'll make the bed afterwards. I love you, baby girl. I love you. I also opened the window so she can look out. Oh, someone also spotted these in one of the Vlogmas pictures and asked what they were. Um, these are all black and white photos from various travels. So this is at the Waldorf Astoria in Versailles. This is in Amsterdam. Uh, this is the Boulders. This was Toledo, Spain. This was Portugal, I think. Um, I don't remember where the other ones, but they represent a trip. Someone caught those in the video and asked about them. How's this old man doing? How's this old man doing? Hi. I just said hi to your sister. I just said hi to your sister. I just said hi to your sister. Alright. I'm going to get all of this stuff from getting closer every day, put away, and then we'll catch up, friends. Hello, friends. It is day 27 of Vlogmas. And, uh, yeah. Yesterday I didn't feel much because I got in the spirit of cleaning. I also know so many of you want like a on decorate with me. Here's the deal. The amount of time it takes me to on decorate and clean, if you multiply that by filming, it would take double to triple the amount of time and it took almost three hours yesterday. So the idea of filming it on top of that all is just like a lot. But I'll show you the nice clean house. The kitchen is all nice and clean. Everything is like back in order and wiped down. Makes my heart so happy. Everything is so clean. I just finished narwhaling. I just cleaned out the dirty water bin. That thing is so great. But all my floors are done. We have two very sleepy doggies. And then over here, we did end up cutting down the fiddle leaf fig. If you remember, it was touching the crown molding. We cut it down so that we'll get some new growth in some different directions. I prefer it, this height, so much more. It's still probably seven to eight feet tall, easily. Yeah, it has to be about eight feet because there's about two feet to the ceiling and these are 10, just slightly over 10 foot ceilings. So, then I just restyled a couple things like these came from the dining room table. I just shifted some things around, but it still stayed pretty. We have two very sleepy dogs. Christmas tuckered them out. Look how, oh, it's just so refreshing. And then styled the coffee table really simply with like some stacks of books. And then I have these two baskets here. These are actually amazing. I found them on Amazon and I will link them if I can find them again. The bottom one holds my magazines. It's like the perfect size. And then this one is remote controls. That way like everything is concealed and not out. Then restyled this shelf, although this pretty much stays the same. This is my favorite thing a subscriber has ever sent. It's by Maya, Maya Salazar, who is a subscriber's daughter. I need to track her down again. I want her to do one the same size of uh, Mabel. It's just perfect. So if you're watching this, by chance, 
let me commission one for Mabel. I, this will be with us the rest of our lives. Entryway table, still super simple. I did end up swapping my mirrors back out, so my round one is over the fireplace again. My anthropology mirror is back in its rightful place. And I did leave one wreath up, but I have my branches. That vase is from a subscriber too. Um, these branches I cut out of a Studio McGee arrangement because I love this vase so much more. And then dining room is simple and clean. There's really not much out here. I did do different jugs on the table. I'm thinking of painting this. Painting this again, if you remember, many years ago. This is from uh, Pottery Barn. It was like a stark white with like a navy blue, like shiny enamel coming through, like distressed. Hated it, so I painted it matte black, but I'm thinking like a matte cream color would be a little bit better. But it does pick up on like the black frames and black light. We'll see. So everything is clean and spotless. And I am going to make some lunch because it is about noon and I haven't eaten yet today. Let me get the air fryer out. I think we'll do some salad. And I think I have some chicken, like tenders from Whole Foods. Yes. So I have some uncooked chicken tenders from Whole Foods. And these are amazing. They're organic, they're gluten-free. I love them for in a salad, and for salad, I need to use up these cucumbers. And we'll this used by December 20, well, we will use that avocado ranch salad kit. It has everything already in it. Green cabbage, green leaf cabbage, lettuce, carrots, red cabbage, kale, green onion, I will skip the corn chips, but use the cheddar cheese in the dressing and add some chicken. All right, I'm gonna get these in the air fryer. What are the cooking? Preheat air fryer to 400, spread for and tenders, 12 to 15 minutes, flipping at six to eight minutes. Beautiful. I'm gonna get that going and then we'll assemble our salad. Hello friends, long time no chat. It is around six o'clock. I actually went for happy hour with my BFF Danielle and my friend Patrick, we had, I had some cider and they had some wine and we just enjoyed time together. And now I just got home to some doggies. Is it doggies? Is it doggies? Oh, is it doggies? It's so good. It was a good, perfect doggy. It was a good doggy. And also this old doggy. Hi, who is cuddly today? Oh. Look at him, he's still spry. Eh, I wouldn't say spry. Um, yeah, so, Steven grabbed a pizza for dinner. Oh, it feels so good having the house nice and clean. I am going to go change and then we'll catch up. So, I am just wrapping up two days of a very disconnected vlog. I mean, if you are watching at this point, you are an amazing human. Um, it's so funny, I started it, I was editing it. <laughs> I was like, I'm gonna leave the decorations up. I just, we are going to be traveling um, and I don't wanna come home and have to do it. And I felt energetic yesterday and did it. I definitely can like fill it in my rib a little bit. I don't know if it was the workout or the three hours of cleaning, but I definitely can fill it today. So, friends, if you are watching, I'm glad you have made it this far because I've been thinking a lot about next year and 
I was watching something on Instagram and it said like what makes you different from people who like achieve what they want and it's like audacity and believing you have the like having the audacity to achieve anything that you want to achieve and that really resonated with me and for those who have been following I select a word every year and I was really thinking about like what do I want 2024 to be and I think sometimes we can often when we think about our happiness especially I've had a really rough two years some people have asked me to go into it more I I think there are some things that you keep to yourself um and I also think people earn the right to hear parts of your story or experience. And those are for the people who are closest to you. But I just had two really, really tough years, um, personally and professionally. And I think I often, and I know many of you probably do this too, I was like, oh, I wish I could go back six years ago when I was happy and X, Y, and Z. But that's a bad way to look at it. Instead, I want to think about what does happiness look like moving forward? You can't go back. And going back would still get you to this point because it's where it got you before. So I was thinking about the word I would want for 2024 and reinvent is where I landed. My word for 2024 is reinvention and reinvent. And I find it really inspiring and motivating. Oftentimes when I'm stressed or overwhelmed, I sacrifice myself and my health and my well-being. So I think for 2024, one of the habits I want to reinvent is taking care of myself, um, both my physical and my mental wellness. So I was thinking about content for 2024 or what I could envision doing, and I've been toying with this idea of, I don't want to say being a daily vlogger, but making... The format that works for me, filming every day, but either doing weekly or um, daily or every other day, like diary entries. It will feel vlog style, but like be around like what's motivating me, where I'm struggling, my idea for moving forward. And it's going to take a lot of focus on like my physical and mental health. And I think it is a way of holding myself really accountable for it and also using the tools and sharing the things that inspire me with all of you. If that is something that you would be interested in, I would love to hear down below what your thoughts are on that. Um, We'll still do, I also thought like it would have like cooking and meal prep and all the things that we normally do, Um, but it would be kind of fun. And some of them could be six minutes long and some might be longer. And I think like that would make it feel like less of a commitment, but this idea of this journey and like committing to it for like 60 to 90 days um, is something I'm really thinking about for contents kicking off the year. I find the most inspiration from people who are real about it and I thought that was a really great way to do it and really thinking of a thoughtful format but it's just something I'm toying with. Tomorrow we have to prepare for a trip and I'm going to share all of that with you tomorrow. Also I've been debating. I have I had done like one or two and then stopped doing them for many years um, of what I got for Christmas. And I don't know if that is something that interests you at all, but let me know in the comments if you do. And also, if you've selected your word for 2024, please share that with me. In the meantime, I'm going to end this vlog like I end all of them. Take care of yourself. Take care of others. Be kind. Kindness is free. Give it to everyone. Until next time, which will be tomorrow. Bye-bye, friends.